Question 13 from the June 21, 7127-1, so paper one. Um, this is asking you to prepare an extract from the income statement for Crofty Limited, starting um, with the profit from operations. So we've got some information here about tax and about debentures. We've been told what the draft profit from operations was. It was 45,586. Um, and the fact that it doesn't include returns outwards of 1,030 and a prepaid expense of 670. So the first thing I suggest we do is sort that out. So we've got the profit from operations. If we do returns outwards, that's um, returns that are going back out to suppliers, that's actually going to reduce our cost of sales. So that will increase the profit. And a prepaid expense will reduce the expense. So that is actually going to increase the profit as well. So let's make a start down here. So profit from operations is going to be 45,586 plus 1030 plus 670. Okay, so that's going to be 47,286 pounds. Okay, right. Next line then. So after profit from operations comes the finance costs. So remember, this is any interest that is due on loans and debentures, whether or not it's been paid during the year. Now, it doesn't tell us how much they've actually paid during the year, but it does tell us that they had a £60,000 debenture outstanding throughout the whole year. That was an 8% debenture. So £60,000 times 8% is going to give you £4,800 in interest. They had a 6% debenture that was £20,000, but that was taken out part way through the year. That was taken out on the 1st of August. So let's work out how many months we owed that for between the 1st of August and the 30th of April. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April is nine months. So it was outstanding for nine months. So £20,000 times 6% times six is £1,200, but times that by nine over 12 will give you £900. OK, so the actual amount of finance cost there is going to be the total of these two. It's going to be 900 plus 4,800, which is actually 5,700 pounds. That's going to leave us with the profit before tax. So the difference between those two, 7,286, is 41,586. Then we can sort out the tax. Now, let's see what it tells us about tax. It tells us that the tax paid during the year was 8863. I suggest we do a little T account here. So the balance brought down is going to be the amount we owed at the start of the year, 2,561. The amount that we've paid during the year, 8863, we would have credited the bank and debited the tax account. So 8863 is going in there. We've got a BAL CD, which is the 3102 we owed at the end of the year. So the missing figure is the tax provision, which is going to go into the income statement. So all we've got to do is balance this account off. So that's the figure that's going off to the income statement. So the tax, the estimate of the tax liability for the year was 9,404. And then that's going to leave us with our profit after tax. Difference between those two, 32. 182. So quite straightforward there, but you just need to be on your toes with regard to time apportioning the interest and sorting out the, uh, the tax liability account. Thanks very much for watching.